Hello there and welcome back to another episode. So the uh, drought is almost here, which is fine because I think everything is already filled up with water as well. So this episode's focus is going to be, I think, this metal city over here. Yeah, we are going to have to make our way all the way there. We don't really have to worry about, I think, yeah, everything here is fine. So why don't we do this here real quick. District center is now out. Uh, maybe I should have checked if we have the space in here first. But no, it's it's fine it seems. Okay, here we go. New district center is in place. Uh, oh, okay, so that's surprising. We still have the range. I guess we fixed something here that allowed us to climb up there again. I mean, before we had... Oh, maybe it was these two. No, we had these two before. And we didn't have the range for this one. Well, anyways, uh, <laughs> this farm, I think you might be out of reach for us. Oh, yes, it is. So we are going to have to change something here as well. Perhaps because this is the last tile in here. Why don't we place you? All right, let's do it this way. The crops can go. All right, done, sorted. And as soon as you get this section done here, we shall relocate this farm. So, yep, I think it's pretty good to delete this now. Okay, so District Center is up here. I think it's time to look at what we are trying to achieve in here as well. All of these levies will not be done in time for the uh, for the drought, which is okay. I'm going to try and close it in as much as possible, of course. And then as soon as it's done, we shall let the... Where's the water? Oh, here's the barriers, yeah. Then we shall open them up as well. The problem might be if we block you in... Um, actually, never mind. We can do a couple of stairs in here so it's easier to get closer as well. It seems some of these flowers have started to expand again. Okay, we might have to be pretty quick about this. Alright, there you go. It's not really ideal what's happening in here. I'll be honest. So we might close you this way instead, or actually, never mind. Let's do it this way. I don't want to lose all the green space in here, of course. And the rest, I don't think we have the range just yet. We still need to... Hmm. Okay, let's take a look. We should probably do the access first. I think that would be smart. Yeah, and same on this side as well. Okay, here you go. All of these blocks are hopefully going to be the next ones. Your range is actually pretty good. Oh yeah, you can go pretty far over here. All right, well, that's lovely. Now, from this side, if we were to switch you up a little bit... Um, <laughs> no. We shall let them connect the access first and then we'll, then we'll figure this out, yeah. During the <laughs> next rainy season, we'll definitely have a slightly longer area that's going to be nice and green. I know I said, I think it was in the first episode as well, that uh, potentially we could do like a bit of an exception when we are building uh, river systems, then that's when the dynamites are allowed. But I think in some of the cases like this one here, I guess we, yeah, we can just raise it with the levees. Uh, quick example, there we go. So you will be now connected up. Okay, and the same on this side as well. And the reason we have to do that, of course, is what happened in the previous episode where we flooded the whole colony. So let's try and be a little bit more careful this time. Okay, now, <laughs> whilst they are constructing all of this, and I mean, it's going to take quite a bit of time, what might be actually smart is... <laughs> let's do... With the highest priority, place the logs in here, and then perhaps we can start, oh, sending some closer, right, so we might not have all the logs that we are going to need, and this here doesn't have a lot of water either, which means water is not flowing through. Guess it's time to change a few things, let's have a look, how do we set you up? Low threshold is 55, you are right now 56, okay. Let's uh, change it to 0 0.6. Let's see what happens then. Does that mean we are going to flood? No, it shouldn't be. I think it should be fine. Yeah, even if we do 0 0.9. It's uh, cutting it pretty close, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, resource-wise, it appears we are 
Pretty good as well. You are full now. Obtain. Obtain goods from other warehouses. Okay. And maybe a... No, we're not going to put a priority because we're transferring and moving quite a bit of water around as well. What could be useful here, though, is if we had... Let's have a look. Storages, a small tank, and... Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm still not used to finding the uh, water tanks under the warehouses. It's, it's a little confusing at times, but it's okay. So, we got the space in here. Let's do one. Highest priority. And there we go. Water. I just realized, didn't we just build another house? We did. And we still don't have enough bed space. Yeah, let's do another one here. I guess we could also unlock a couple of other houses. But uh, no, we definitely want to go vertical in this playthrough. So one could be there and this still allows us to build like a, a set of stairs as well. Now, I don't suppose we are going to put any more storages in this area. So yeah, platform it can be. Right, there we go. And we'll connect you up with the, with the roads as well. All right, cool. If we could give this a slightly higher priority because we don't want any of the beavers to live here without a roof above their heads. Okay, so this is going up something I have realized. We probably have to raise this here as well. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what our plan was. Okay, well, let's um, enclose you in then. Now, <laughs> to unlock this area a little further, should we let this go? No. Right, well, at least we can do a few more of those levees. And let's have a look. Oh, no. Everything is with a very, very low priority. So let's uh, fix you up. All of these ones can be normal priority again. I just want to have this whole uh, whole section done. There we go. You can go as well. So that section should be fine now. Let's do the same over here as well. All right, there you go. Um, <laughs> now with the roads, how shall we do the axis? I don't want to have... Yeah, I think in the long run, I don't want to have these kind of weird connections that I've done here. I mean, it looks cool and in some of the games it definitely works. But here it's kind of, it's better to have one road that connects to your destination. For example, like if you want to get into, into this forest dirt, well, there's only one way you can get here. There isn't another, another route that you can take. I mean, depends where you're coming from, of course. And that's something we'll, we'll try and do a little bit better in this uh, playthrough as well. What might actually work is um, if we create our road network mostly above the water, in this one so that way we still have this green space in here with the houses in themselves i know i did say we want to do it in the canyon over here and yeah that's uh, that has not changed that's still my plan but um just trying to figure out if we and what we want to have here okay i guess for now because it's still early game let's not worry about it too much let's just get our oh dear okay Wait a second. All those trees are going all over the place. I think we have to block you in first. Right, so our first access point might have to be either from here or there. Now, to get into the Scrap City, I guess we could do it. Mm, we're still going to go there later. That means we are going to have to cross. Yeah. All right. We are going to fix the access. There we go. Stairs. Or the ladders will go just like so. And you can get over... <laughs> we could do bridges as well, but I don't think we have quite the... Yeah, we don't have the resources for the, for the bigger ones. Okay, fine. We are going to climb over. Still leave them access to go lower as well. Alright, there we go. And I guess it's just going to be platforms for the, uh, for the time being. Uh, this section in here, well, I suppose we are going to have to do a ladder here as well. So get this done. We'll speed up the time because everything else... Yeah, I don't think we have to be too worried unless our population suddenly increases by a lot, of course. Uh, I think we missed a platform here, but that's fine. Uh, the rest really isn't a huge priority. I think they will have enough time to construct it all up. Did we not do the roads on top of 
all these platforms. No, we did not. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, the range should be uh, should be pretty good, I think. Go all the way here and probably remove some of those trees as well to make it a bit more direct. All right, there we go. You can go all the way around and this way. Hmm, I guess we can... You are not a priority. You are a slightly lower priority. Okay, and all of these ones. And... <laughs> I might have already removed a few plants, it seems. Okay, and then we'll uh, figure out our access point somewhere here as well. I'm going to do a double... Uh, platform here because I have a feeling in the future we might run some cables and other things through through this canal So yeah, definitely want to have it fixed plus right now What it means is we can quickly cross over get rid of those trees put the levees in place and then uh, Run right back. All right. There we go. Now whilst they are constructing everything above Let's uh, give you a high priority and let's figure out how we Shall do this over here. Hmm. All right, platforms in here as well. We can run almost all the way through. All right, roads. And we are in the scrap city. Beautiful. Now for the metal itself, efficient mine. Wow, that's a lot of points. And I don't think there's any, any point in unlocking this one right now because we are going to need some treated planks. It is something we don't have. And with the gears as well, we, we've got 70 right now, but it, it's not very sustainable. I might have said before that we are going to get all the metal that we can find, but this one here, I think we're going to leave all the, all the scrap metal. It kind of looks cool the way it is. And once we put water in this place as well, it is going to look like a... Um, yeah, I guess like a scrap city that's uh, covered in vegetation. So we'll leave you leave you be. Probably get rid of this tree in here. And did we put roads on the platform? Yes, we did. Okay. So with the district center itself, um, we've lost access to a couple of spots in here. And we can fix this pretty, pretty easily. So first of all, you will go out. Okay. Now, these platforms are already in place. I did plan it pretty early, but I didn't talk about it too much to be fair and the reason for those platforms is I would like to place the bridges uh, right like so um, now I just gotta figure out what is the length of this distance uh, right 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 so I guess we can do something like this so if we go no no that's that's not what I was after right and another one and another one production now is fine we have spare beavers as well okay so the power isn't very good we don't have a lot of logs left so the first thing i'll probably do once we go down here and open up the waterways as well is to start putting some water down here now what i'd also probably want to do is we actually don't want to build this in here okay i think Hmm, it's a bit risky, but I do want to put one of those floodgates in here instead. And the reason for that is we, we do want to regulate the level of water. So that way, I mean, this whole area would be lovely for some additional maple farms. Yeah. So what shall we, what shall we do? Well, the levee is already in place and I guess for now you can just use it as a, as a bit of a bridge uh, to cross over. Okay. And with the flank gate itself as well, let's just leave it for now. And um, the way it usually works with, with me is if I don't have a good idea right from the start, then it's better to leave it for a while. And sooner than later, we'll figure something out. Yeah, that's how it works the best usually, in my experience at least. In here as well, I think we can just run the, run the road through, well, from the top, of course. That's definitely gonna, gonna go through here. We can cross over. Yep. And we do have to open these ones up as well. But if we do, you're blocked over here. And you're blocked over here and here. So we can actually fill it up pretty pretty safely without the worry of losing all this water. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Can't get the required uh, materials. Okay. 
Right, so we are going to have to go for a bit of a hunt. Oh, I see some of those trees are coming online now. Okay, what about on this side? We have tons of trees in here. Yep, let's, um, let's cut you all down. We shall do... Well, you've got a pretty good reach over here. And I guess we can do the same... Yep, let's, uh, let's do it this way. Highest priority, and let's get those built. Uh, beavers in there as well. Right, so you can start cutting down all of those trees in here. And the same, same on this side. Didn't have any ruins in the way just over there, but that is okay. And if we can actually jump over, that would be, that would be perfect, yeah. How is this coming along? There we go. Well, the stairs are, well, all the ladders are almost done. You don't have the materials. Okay, fine. Are we cutting trees already? Yes, we are. Okay, so that's lovely. We can push a little further. Alright, and this way as well. Now, do we want to cross over or do we... No, we're just going to continue this way for a little bit. Uh, getting to that side will be lovely as well. And, okay, there we go. So we do have the access that we need. We'll try and cross over as quickly, quickly as we can. And then we shall start harvesting all of the trees that we can find around this place. Um, <laughs> I guess this tree over here is fine. We don't need to... Oh, wait a second. Wrong one. Here we go. And in this zone... Oh, okay. Pretty lovely forest over there. I guess we'll find out once these platforms are completed. We might have to look through our priorities again if we don't get the... The lumber numbers up very quickly. Yeah, well, we do have another one. Oh, it's a little too far away. Unless we were able to get these sections completed, then we could have a bit of a shortcut. Yeah, so why don't we do it the cheaper way? Because we know we might do some platforms or bridges to connect the connect the sides up and then go all the way down there. Okay, we'll place the road. Off you go. Connect the road. And lovely. Well, that was pretty quick. Both of uh, these guys are now done already. Which means we can pause you. Alright, there you go. Go and find another job. This one is starting to open up a little bit. Okay, so we shall... I guess flag over here would work. Okay, a couple of roads as well, and let's keep pushing through this area. Right, on the on the other side, we got two lumberjacks already in place. Now, with these trees in here, yep, yeah, we, we do need the logs right now. Pretty, pretty desperately, if I'm completely honest. Oh, we missed one. There we go. And, um, yeah, we shall keep cutting down as much as we can, building up those levees. And I think this section now is pretty much complete, except except you guys. I hope no one was down here. Probably should have checked before, but I think we'll be we'll be fine. All right, there you go. Get these ones. That's the last of the levees. Then you're done, and we just have to fix up the front as well. I mean, we still have twelve days, so this water is going to be uh, it's going to disappear. And once that happens, then uh, that's when we, we shall fix up this corner in here as well. Alright, with the with this section in here, these levees are in place. I think we do want to climb over from this side. Hmm. Well, we don't have a lot of logs to play with right now, so we shouldn't be placing and building those ladders and stuff everywhere. You're already out of range. Okay. Well, it doesn't feel that far. Let me see. Okay, so if you were one tile closer, you'd be fine. Well, that's fair. Let's do it this way then. Construct them. There we go. And now we have two more beavers bringing, bringing a few extra logs for us. Okay, down here it seems the trees are now safe. 
Not for too long though, because we are gonna move there. Oh right, the way that to get there is pretty, pretty long. I'd love to put another set of ladders over here, but that would be kind of defeating the purpose of, of even going there. The amount of logs it takes is probably the amount of logs we gain from here. How are these farms going? Okay, 79%, 23, they're all kind of random, aren't they? 93, yep, so we're definitely getting a few more. It is a little slow. Now what? Oh, okay, wait a second, those bridges are now done. That was quick. And you do have access, you're getting those trees from there as well. But that's pretty much all, isn't it? It is. Right, right, right. Another thing I did want to check is, can we place trees underneath? Oh, yes we can. Okay, that's pretty cool. I thought it might not be enough space in here, but... No. Seems we are okay. Would we be able to turn this into a new main road? So yeah, all those ladders, perhaps you don't go through here anymore, but instead go this way. Well, I don't think we're ready for that upgrade just yet. Another thing that's been kind of annoying here is these roads. All right, let's do it properly. There we go. Now it's fixed, looking way better as well. And we do have water here, which is great. But you are still complaining about the food, so that's uh, yeah, gonna be quite a quite a big hike. So another thing that I haven't talked too much about, because I don't really have concrete plans just yet. But in this playthrough, what I do want to do, and I don't suppose it's gonna make a lot of sense, but I'll I'll try my best. Okay, so typically when I've built cities as well, and yeah, sometimes well most of the time I do go vertical as well but with the roads what you do see is, is the same old usual they're all on the same kind of like a level the network itself what I want to do in this episode is to figure out a way that's going to be efficient okay when in, in terms of access of course is to have roads that overlap each other on different heights but lead to different destinations so this could be almost kind of like a good example in here Let's say we had, I don't know, some kind of, um, what do you call it, one of those foresters. Let's say you're over here, and then uh, there's log piles over here, and lots of trees growing. So we'll have one way of access that comes down from that side of the hill, um, you know, going into the log piles and then running off to the forester, but they can't climb down from this way. Whereas if I was to, you know, remove the bottom ladders, we'd still keep the top ones so that we we could climb down but access this hill only i mean i could probably achieve the same if i just remove those stairs over here so then it would become the only way to access this hill yeah so uh yeah i hope it kind of makes sense i want to make it a bit more a bit more interesting different levels right so with the new district in place as well it seems the access is almost enough in here isn't it so let's have a look if we go around this way we'll grab the center again and oh that is very close okay i was just about to say that i kind of want to leave those uh, stairs in here and use it as the main main entrance but i think we might have to yeah change that a little bit it seems we still have to go up from here instead a bit unfortunate but oh well it is what it is. Now, let's connect you guys up. You are done. Nothing left to do for you in here. Alright, lovely. Do we have another? Yes, we do. And everything is marked as well, so that should be done pretty pretty quickly. Oh, wait a second. Someone is 100% going to get stuck on that side. Uh, I am very certain of that. And all of you are done as well. Okay, well, we know our construction ambitions are pretty pretty big so why don't we let's have a look uh, we have a few logs right now if we were smarter we would waste a few logs but gain those four spaces here for all the trees yeah let's do it this way and now uh, <laughs> let's take a look we are gonna do a ton of maples all over this place Alright, all the way here, 
all the way here, there. Same on this side. And right now, I'm not really worried about future access, if I'm completely honest. We can always climb down or, or walk around and... Uh, actually, never mind. What I'm trying to say is we can always remove those trees. Right. So let's uh, plant as many as we can. Right now, you have nothing in range and it's not worth climbing up there who else is complaining oh you as well okay uh let's take a look well we got 200 logs in the bank right now so we might be might be okay 7.9 days left until the rainy season and yeah i'm still waiting for the water to disappear from here what we might do do we want to drop it in here instead because we're not really growing anything at the top Yep, let's do that. Let's uh, cut the link. Oh no, wait a second. That's going to flood all the way into that zone. So maybe that is something we have to do here. Is a system of levees. Not the levees. Floodgates. Alright, so one goes here. Are we able to build you though? We might not be able to. Let's... Alright, fix this as well. Highest priority, highest one. Would be nice if you get these ones done as well. Alright, there we go. And then once that is completed, I think we might still have access below. No, we do not. Okay, that is unfortunate. Right, so if that's going to be the new main route for us, what we could do... Uh, yes, we are going to need a couple more stairs. Right like so. Alright, put one on top as well. And now we should be able to go and remove the barrier. Whilst we are still waiting... Well, actually, never mind. We're not waiting for any more logs right now. We are ready to construct all of this. Yep, there we go. Materials are in. And the rest is looking pretty much maxed out. Yeah, I guess the next thing we might want... Oh, no. What have you guys done? How did you get stranded? Oh, it's my bad. Alright, let's have a look at the roads as well. So if you go... Kind of through... We might climb over, actually. To make this a bit more... A bit more direct. Yep, through this way. Might have some platforms in here. Stairs go down. On both sides. Okay. Uh, well, we do have the log, so we don't have to plan it. We can, we can actually build it as well. There we go. Platforms in here. We'll do this and that. Okay, lovely. Uh, right, the water drop off soon, which we do want to build somewhere here. I think that's it. It was pretty, pretty simple, wasn't it? Uh, not this one. Water dump. And here we go. Stream gauge as well. And things are sorted. We'll do lowest priority so we get everything else done first. Uh, but alright, let's have a look. We've um, got the blood gate in place already. Oh wait, we've lost all the water. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess it's fine then. We can just... Uh, Open this all up pretty nicely. 1.5 for you. If you are going to flood something, that is most likely fine. Yep, it does look like so. Uh, you've got nothing to do as well, so we can probably pause all of those three. Right, you're still accessing and running around this area. Right, we might actually try and... Fix this up over here. Okay, let's do something like this. So you can go around. Might want to section you off. Because I'm not sure that we can... Oh, wow. that Yeah, that goes pretty, pretty far. And I don't think we have the reach to get all the way there. Okay, fine. We'll, um, we'll still see how far we can get. And... All right. There we go. Well, just uh, place a flat gate at the end, depending on how far we can we can go. 
a few more platforms just like so. We're gonna block ourselves in a little bit here, which is unfortunate. But there's not much we can do about it. Now, this section is going... Let's give the priority for all of that access as well. Okay, this way, that way. Beautiful. Alright, let's... Oh, uh, wait a second. What about these guys? Well, that's not good, is it? No, not really. We've got the stairs over there. But wait a second, you can... Might be able to go straight through here. Just for a little bit, let's see. Nope, that did absolutely nothing for us. Uh, right, what is the cheapest way to get across? Let's have a look. What is our range again? This is the shortest one. I mean, here will be fine as well, I suppose. But no, we are going to do it this way. Right, and done. Oh, I love the handrails. The red or the brick handrails as well. That's very, very adorable. Okay, those sections. And now you shall be the high priority. Um, <laughs> okay, so that probably means we don't need this link in here. And as soon as these are constructed, we can and close this area as well. No, we cannot. Right, so we said we are going to fix this area up, so let's do that before the rainy season starts. Oh, we got some rubble, but that is fine. All right, there we go. All complete now. I'm pretty sure I've missed a link somewhere, and until I'm editing this video, I will not find it out, so... Um, <laughs> let's have a look through. Yep, we've fixed this area now. They will shortly or very soon have access. The rest of it is fine. Another thing we did want to do was to give... Hmm. I'll put a flat gate somewhere here. Okay, why don't we... Before I forget about it, let's do it over here. Alright, highest priority, you're going to be number one. We shall not let the water through that area until we are completely done. Okay, so population, I'm pretty sure we had a, a lot more beavers before, so why don't we open a, another one? Actually, I think we have probably a few beavers doing some random jumps or slacking off somewhere. Uh, right, right, right. No, it's all fine here. Well, we've got another beaver board now, so we shouldn't be too worried about it. Uh, right, what we did want to start doing, though, I think the goal of this episode was actually... To start uh, gathering some metal. So before we go to the furthest areas. Uh, we have, yes we have reached the scrap city. But I think we want to try and take all the metal that we can reach over here. Okay, what is our access? You are still going to be able to, yep, get all of them on both of these locations. Right, so we shall do one over there. Do we have any more ruins around this area as well? We had a couple there. This one's kind of stuck, but it's not worth going all the way, I think. And there's a few in here as well that are kind of hidden. So we shall... Yeah. They're not really big enough to preserve them, I suppose. The ones that are in the water, we might leave them. Yeah, let's uh, let's leave them for now. And uh, with this whole area in here... Okay, so how do we get into metal? We know that we are going to need some more logs because we want to run some engines and produce some of the treated planks in here. So I guess uh, this zone will be most likely production, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so rainy season, 3.5 days. This area is already dry. Maybe we can set you up real quick. Pause when above. Let's see. When above and unpause when below. 0.2 and 75 or so. Okay. Uh, you're not constructed yet. Highest priority as well. Everything else is done around here. So yes, we are going to need a bit of water to start planting even, even more trees. Okay. So you are now done as well. 
Well, great. Let's uh, get all these trees. We'll clean it up because most of the time it's going to be underwater in the future anyways. And this area, I think we might have forgotten to remove a few levees. All right, there we go. They won't be able to clear this mess over here, but that's okay. We'll uh, revisit this area at some other time. And here we go. Our first scrapper is in action now. We've got 16 scrap metal already stored up. Did we build another one somewhere else? Oh, yes, we did. There was one on this island, wasn't it? Okay, you've got quite a bit of metal or scrap metal here, which is not bad at all. We are going to let this whole island, yeah, get a few more trees. Right, there is another berry, blueberry bush over here, so sneaky one here. So we'll take you away as well. Now, everything else, I think, yeah, we're starting to catch up with the logs as well. 572, which is lovely. That area is fine here. We can't quite reach this zone, but we are in the process of trying to fix it. Yes, we are. Okay, so we want to keep the theme of using, I think, bridges over here as well, because we, yeah, gonna have to go over, under, through, and I think it's somewhere, oh no, it's this one, nope, wrong tool, here we go. So I know what I said about the uh, roads and different, different levels as well, uh, or, or the heights, I mean. Um, and it might seem that what we are doing right now isn't really following what we said before, but at this stage of the game, I just kind of want to access everything and everywhere, set up the basic resources. I want to have a lot bigger forest, which is, yeah, definitely 100% need a way bigger forest over here. And yeah, once we have the basic resources coming in, a bit more water as well, food definitely going to improve, but mostly logs because they take the longest to, to grow. It's 30 days for each of those maples. So do want to set up quite a, quite a big farm over here. And uh, once we have done that, that's when we will start looking at doing some uh, different ways of setting up the roads. So for example, what we could do, if this is all like a tree farm over here, and that's on the ground level, we could do or build those bridges the same way we did it right over here. And that will be like the main direct route to our mine. Okay, might be. We'll see. Yeah, we shall see for sure. Uh, you still have quite a, quite a lovely range over here. So let me just quickly give you a few more maples around this whole area. Okay, now with the roads, I think now that we are going to this side, we might actually have to walk through here and I don't know, maybe the same over here. So we'll set you up like so. And now is a good time to fill it up with the with the maples. Okay, at the top level, once we are ready, of course, this will be a pretty lovely spot for one of the lumberjack flags. And the rest of you, let's have a look. Yep, even more maples. Uh, there we go. Now, are we going to connect them up? No, no, we are not. And when we look at the production zones. Okay, so this is the access. Oh yeah, this is what we, what we could do, I suppose. How high are you? Two levels, so that means we cannot... Yeah, I think it's three is what we want. And then we could climb down, access the mine directly from here well almost directly if we face it this way of course now what does the mine need for production i don't suppose oh you are going to show us okay so gears and treated planks so first we need trees which we already have here uh, then we need to produce planks to turn them into gears and treated planks i sort of forgot what do we need okay pine resin and planks so lots of planks we may want to um, get some, yeah, pine forests going as well. Where shall we do that, though? Um, right here, actually. Yeah, let's do it right here. This whole area is going to be pine trees, and, and we will not be cutting them down. So, yeah, none of this is marked right now. We shall leave it the way it is. 
the drought has finally ended as well so we can finally witness how this whole area is either gonna green up very nicely or flood and also green up at the same time of course yeah there we go so flooding oh yeah we probably needed another levy over here okay there we go on this side so that's almost yeah it is actually done okay and you don't need to run through here anymore which means these levies can be placed as well you with the high priority you with the lowest all right let's take a look Hmm. <laughs> Uh, you're almost done. It's going to fill up very nicely. I think at the bottom, if we didn't... Yeah, we probably don't want to flood the, the trees over here. So setting up like a levee in a corner might be quite useful. I mean, we'll see it in a second. All right, there we go. Water is almost all the way to the brim and it should start... Yeah, okay, any second... Or not. Okay, there we go. Actually, seems like we're fine. It's not really flooding. Well, not yet. Um, what we were going to do was to take out these barriers over here. Uh, can they climb down? No, they cannot. So let's fix that real quick as well. Quick priority. Highest priority. Ooh, there we go. We might uh, change you up with some dams here instead. Okay, quite a bit of water goes this way. Actually, what about... There's a lot of water... Excess water coming from here. And you have the ability to fill up this area. Right. So why don't we test... Sending all that water that's coming from this water source... Onto this side instead. Or at least have the ability to control it uh, let's give it a try because I uh, hmm, yeah it might take quite a quite a while to fill this whole area up and I don't suppose we are gonna be able to access those barriers but we can unlock this area here we should be right so if we go here all right we are gonna need stairs as well all right, through and over. Lovely, build those up. Yes, we still have the range, so that's good. And if we crack you open... All right, let's give it a try. We'll do one of them. All right, cool. So scrap metal seems to be full. So the next step is really, what are we going to do with this? I mean, there's only one thing we can do with this, and that is the smelter. Uh, do we have enough logs to set up some... Or can we set up some engines? No, we cannot. Okay, well, isn't that great. So that means we are going to have to figure out our production soon because we don't really have any space in here to start producing metal. It's just going to be too messy. Yep. So we are going to have to figure out this area. But before we do that, I think that's going to be a problem for the next episode. Let's just have a look how this water flows through. And are we correct to block this area off? Okay, we'll allow them a bit of time and we'll be back as soon as it's done. There we go. So the double flank gate is in place. I have just closed it. Okay, which means no more water shall be going this way. And everything is now flowing through this area here instead. We might have to open those dams once this area fills up. Because right now, there is no way for this water to escape. So yeah, as soon as it fills up, we are... I'm glad we placed those floodgates instead of dams here. Yeah, that was definitely the right decision. Yep, the levees are almost done as well. I think that's the furthest we can go, isn't it? Let's do a quick check over here as well. Oh yeah, that's the furthest we can go, which means somewhere around here, we are going to have a, another floodgate, which is going to be with a height limit of two. Uh, you can be open. Oh, wait a second. Nope. I didn't see the water behind it. Okay, it's fine though. It was just a little bit of water. Uh, yep, let's get this built as well. Oh wow, you guys are still running here. Ooh, okay. 
That's a, that's a pretty long way to run back to your house. And it would be funny if you just turned around and nope, it is a work day again. It's your own fault for being stuck here all night. Okay, so let's get someone to build this uh, build this levee real quick. All right, and the floodgate is almost there as well. Just a couple more logs. Actually, I think it's fine to pass some more or extra water through. How are you doing? Okay, almost full. Uh, right, how far are we? Two more. And there he goes. Nope, you're not going to construct it. That's okay. Uh, not enough water is going this way, though. Oh, that's interesting. So everything seems to be... Right, I see. It's not turning. But go straight through instead. We can, of course, and we will, automate this. So in the long term, let's have a look. We shall have... Let's say that's uh, probably the furthest corner that we can see. And once it's built, we'll say something like when it reaches 0 0.8, this floodgate will close again. And if it's lower than that, well, that means we are going to open the floodgate again. Um, I think we are very close to... Yeah, that's pretty, pretty full already. So there we go. That's looking... Very lovely now. Okay. Yep, I think we can be quite happy with that. Now, the rest of the water should be flowing here. Three days until the drought starts. You're allowing the water to go through as well. Okay, cool. 1.5 for you. Once it fills up, we can put a little extra in here. And when it floods, it's actually not a bad thing for us. All right, there we go. Fills up this little canal here as well. Well, this one isn't very good. Oh, wait a second. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, one. Um, bit of an emergency, it seems. Yep, let's not flood this whole area. Fortunately, it wasn't enough water. Oh, dear. That's not looking good either. But it seems to work. And that's uh, that's all that matters, I guess. Okay, so I think we've, uh, yeah, pretty much achieved everything we wanted to do in this episode. So, got the mountaintop sorted out. It's lovely and green. We've also reached the scrap city over here. And, yeah, I'm pretty convinced that we are not going to tear down those ruins. Let's keep the the look that we, that we have here. And uh, once we manage to green it up, there are a few little channels and canals, I think, are around this place. Yes, they are. So I think, yeah, that's going to look a pretty cool spot over here. And we'll figure out the production zones as well in the next episode. So for the, for the time being, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.